Hello, this video will cover microscopes and microscopy. We will be discussing general handling and care of the microscope, as well as specific steps for using the microscope. The first microscope we will discuss is the compound light microscope. The compound light microscope has two lenses, the ocular, which usually magnifies objects 10 times or 10x, and the objective, which you can adjust for various magnifications. Light travels up through the specimen and enters the objective, travels through the body tube, and through the ocular before it reaches your eye. A link in your course website includes a figure to show this path of light. Your textbook also discusses the pathway of light through the microscope in more detail. There are several components of the microscope with different functions. The base supports the microscope. The mirror or lamp redirects light through the sample. The condenser is a cone-shaped structure through which light travels from the source to the specimen. The closer the condenser is to the specimen, the higher the light intensity. You can adjust the condenser for resolution and contrast. Usually the condenser should be within one quarter turn of the highest position for best viewing. The stage is where the sample is placed. Often the stage will have knobs called mechanical stage adjusters that move the stage left to right and front to back. You can record the numbers on the knobs to go back to a slide and see the same view at another time. The arm holds up the lenses and is used to carry the microscope. The course adjustment or course focus is used to bring the object into view. The fine adjustment or fine focus is used to bring the object into detailed focus. The eyepiece is where you look through. The nose piece holds the objective lenses. The scanning objective is used to find the object and is usually 4x magnification. The low power objective is usually 10x. The high power objective is the largest magnification, usually 40x. The oil immersion objective is 100x. It needs a drop of immersion oil to direct the light from the specimen into the small hole of this objective. Without the oil, there is not a clear image. The course website includes a link showing an image of how light travels through the oil to create a clear image. The clip holds the slide in place. The diaphragm, or iris diaphragm, adjusts the amount of light shining through the sample. You can open or close the diameter to adjust the light. This affects the clarity and depth of field of your image. There are several functions of the microscope. Definition is the quality of the image. It depends on the contrast between the specimen and its surroundings and between different parts of a specimen. You can adjust the contrast using the diaphragm by increasing or decreasing the amount of light shining through the sample. You can also increase the contrast by using a stain, for example, iodine or methylene blue. The magnification makes objects bigger or smaller. The total magnification for an image is calculated using the magnification of the ocular times the magnification of the objective lenses. For example, if the ocular is 10x, when looking through the high power objective, which is 40x, the total magnification is 10 times 40, or 400x. As you increase or decrease the magnification, the working distance between the objective and the slide changes as well. As you increase the magnification, you decrease the working distance. Microscopes are expensive and delicate, so they require special care. They are usually stored in a cabinet with a cover over them. The cord is carefully wrapped around the scope. The microscope should be stored with the low power objective in the down position. When carrying the microscope, use two hands, one on the arm and one under the base. Keep the microscope upright at all times. Never swing the microscope around with one hand. When cleaning the lenses, always use lens paper. Never use Kleenex, your hands, or other material as it will scratch or leave dust on the lenses. To begin using the microscope, several adjustments must first be made. If you will be looking at higher magnifications, you will need more light because of the smaller openings in the objectives. To adjust for this, use the condenser, light source, and diaphragm. If you are using a binocular scope, you will need to adjust the interpupillary distance, the distance from the center of one pupil to the other in millimeters. 
You can correctly position the oculars so they match your interpupillary distance. To adjust the diopter, use the left ocular. This is especially important for if your vision is different in your left and right eyes. Close your left eye and adjust the specimen using the fine focus. Then close your right eye and adjust the diopter until the image is clear. If an image appears cloudy, turn the nose piece to see if it is the objective lens. Turn the ocular in a circle to see if it is the ocular that needs to be cleaned. To focus the microscope, you should follow these steps. Always start with the scanning objective to bring the object into view. Focus. Next, move up to increasing magnifications by rotating the nose piece. Do not turn by holding on to the objectives. This can cause their alignment to be off. Only adjust the fine focus between each new objective. Only minimal focusing should be necessary, about one half a turn, if you are using a parfocal microscope. If you are using a monocular scope, look through the eyepiece and focus that eye on the specimen. Do not close the other eye. It can cause unnecessary strain and a possible headache. The compound light microscope is just one type of microscope used in the laboratory. Several others may also be used. A phase contrast microscope enhances the contrast of transparent or colorless objects. This is a good microscope to use if you want to view individual cell structures. A polarized light microscope is used especially in chemistry. It shows crystal structure as well as optical properties of specimens. A fluorescence microscope is used when a sample is labeled so it fluoresces. This is good to see cell structures and functions. A stereoscope can magnify between 2 and 100 times, but most magnify only up to 40 times. They are used for thick samples and are also known as a dissecting scope. A scanning electron microscope can magnify images up to 20,000 times. These allow researchers to view cells in three dimensions. Finally, a transmission electron microscope can magnify up to 100,000 times. This is the best microscope to use when you need to see details of individual cell structures. When you are finished using the microscope, it is important to store it properly. Wrap the cord around the base and replace the cover. Make sure the scanning objective is down. Carry the microscope with two hands and place it back in the cabinet.